The Shawnee clears in Lynchburg, Virginia to face the Liberty Flames. Liberty jumps out to the early lead. Joel Vanderwall takes the entry pass, slams it down. Flames up by nine. But Coastal comes all the way back. Anthony Raffa with a nifty jumper gives the Shants a two-point lead. Then big Sam McLaurin gets into the box score, showing some range. Coastal led 29-28 at the half. We move to the second half. Tavares speaks, and the Flames retake the lead. That put Liberty up by eight. But Coastal rallies again. It's Kier Greenwood. He finished with 18 on the night. CCU up three. But Liberty goes back up by four. This is David Manaya. He finished with 18 for the Flames. And then Chris Grandigo nails one from the outside. He finished with 11 points. All right, final moments. CCU down three. Grandigo with six seconds left to send it to overtime. No good. Liberty hangs on to win it 61-57. Coastal has now lost five of its last six games. Here's what Coach Ellis had to say following the loss at Liberty. Our team fought, uh, but th this is what you can expect. Uh, we didn't expect anything less from Liberty. Uh, I thought our team uh, had an opportunity to come in and win the game, and we, we certainly had our chances. Uh, at the same time, there was a rebound here or there that went their way, but not disappointed in the way that we played overall. It's just you know, two teams going at it. It was a very good basketball game, hard fought, and Liberty was able to come out with it.